Hi, this video is part of a series of student misconception videos on ratios and proportions. In this video, we will talk about a popular misconception in which students reduce each term of a ratio separately by some factor to find the lowest form. Let us see an example of this. In this question, we are asked to fill in the blank and write the given ratio in the simplest form. The ratio given is 8 is to 15. The response data for this question shows us that out of 996 students of grades 6 and 7 who attempted this question, 70% got it right by realizing that 8 and 15 do not have a common factor by which they can be reduced. However, around 8% reduced 8 and 15 by the factors 4 and 5 to get 2 is to 3 as their answer. Others also reduced the terms by different factors to get answers like 2 is to 5 and 4 is to 5. Why is this? Let us see another example to consolidate our observation. In this example, we are asked to once again fill in the blank and write the given ratio in the simplest form. The ratio given is 14 is to 27. The response data for this question shows us that out of 735 students who attempted this question, 74% got it right. But around 14% wrote 2 is to 3 as their answer. We can see that the students seem to have a misconception regarding how ratios are to be reduced. Let us see if we can collate all the points regarding this misconception. Firstly, we know that students have a misconception regarding the concept of reduction itself. They think it simply means making the ratio term smaller to known small digit ratios like 2 is to 3, whether or not it is required. According to student logic, we can divide first and second terms of a ratio by separate factors to reduce the ratio. This implies that there is a clear lack of understanding and incorrect application of operations on fractions. This could also be partially due to an error on the student's part, like perhaps they forgot that they are dividing the terms by different factors. To remedy this misconception, we have to strengthen students' understanding of the concept of reducing ratios to the lowest form. To do this, we must clear their concepts regarding operations on fractions. So we must inculcate the methodology of stepwise reduction of ratio terms, taking one factor at a time. We can tell the students to expand each term into its prime factors and remove the common factors. In the example below, we have taken 12 is to 15 as a ratio. We write it in fraction form and list out the prime factors. Then we see that 3 is common between them and remove it. Thus we get the answer 4 is to 5. So in this video, we talked about a prevalent student misconception regarding reduction of ratios to lowest form and one of the ways to remedy it. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Thanks for watching.